Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I'm coming to you um, with our calligraphy. Um, I know I'm kind of not getting it done on the days that I would like to get it done, but I think as long as I get two sessions in a week, that's my my thing. So if it's not on Thursday, you guys know it's coming later on, or if it's not on Tuesday, what have you. So it will be twice a week, I swear. Um, and yeah, so if you're new here, what we are doing is we are, I am trying to learn calligraphy and um, I'm taking you guys along for the ride and we are using this book here, which was in a kit. And this is the lady that we are following. And right now we've been through the uppercase letters, but now we are in the um, lowercase. So if you want to follow along, you can start here and then go back to the the uppercase. I would start, um, I would suggest starting at the beginning because I do give some um, information there. We're using the Chancery style um, calligraphy. And yeah, and by the way, I get ink everywhere. How? I don't know. I don't know, but it's my thing. It's my thing. What can I say? Anyways, so let's start today. We're going to do J. K and probably L if we have time. I think we'll probably have time though. Because, um, yeah, J looks pretty straightforward. So we're just going to go up, down, around. We have made this, this line a, quite a few times now, so we should be pretty good with it. Don't quote me on that because these are, it's harder than it looks. And then we just have our slant upwards. So let's jump in. I am using watercolor paper right now because my ink, it's just flowing too much. So I'm using watercolor paper in order for it not to run as much. So I'm going to take a quick drink. Sorry about that. Look how... Ugh, oh, I got water everywhere. Look how bad this thing is sweating. And I've got it on this coaster that my mother gave me. Look how bad it's sweating. It's humid. And it's sweat all over my desk. So if I'm not having ink all over myself, I'm getting water all over myself. But we'll just wipe that off a little bit. I know this has nothing to do with calligraphy, but yeah. So let's go. I'm just going to get rid of that. All right. So I regret not doing this the other way around, but I just tore it from the thing and went with it um okay so I want to make sure that you guys can see that all right let's see what we can do with this yeah the ink is coming out fast Hope everybody's doing great today. I am doing superb. Gosh, I slept late today though. Wow. Slept. I couldn't believe it. I, it was like early afternoon. I haven't slept that bad in years. But it was nice. I enjoyed it. I was 
I got up my usual time. I woke up my usual time and I said, uh, no. And then I fell back to sleep again. And you know what happens on the second sleep. So... When Mario's up before I am, that says something. Jay didn't wake us up, that's, unless he woke Mario up earlier this morning, and I just don't know about it, but. His majesty is on my table, as usual. As I tell people, we only borrow the stuff in here, he owns all of it. He's going to start causing us, charging us rent here soon. I don't think I'm curving that around, actually looking at it more. I think it has to curve. Even that is... Nope. that be better all right I think that's relatively straightforward. Of course, I will practice it more, but um, I think it's a pretty easy one, actually. It's relatively easy. It's a K that I'm a little bit worried about, so that's what I want to spend our time on. So you see this little thing again, I'm going to start with the one that goes down and then put that for me. This is what I would do anyways, but according to the book, you start with this, you bring it on down. Then you have this kind of, it's not, if you see here, it's got some space in there. So when you come around, and then you have this that goes out. So I think this one's going to be a little bit more um, complicated. I figured out where my ink is coming from. I'm putting the book on top of the letters I'm doing before they are dry. So... I know that in some of my books, my classics, they dab after they're just to dry it, but it's too late now. I've already put it all over the place. Yeah, but that's all right. All right, so I know that I'm not doing this the way she wants. She, uh, Put it there, but I just can't seem to, I can't seem to get these things in the right spot compared to where, so I find it easier to not, all right, 
and then and I don't think it it's terrible for my first. I'm putting it, I think I gotta go closer to there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better.
just gonna practice that for a second. That looks a little bit better. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna see what my flow is like on this one. Oh yeah, it still has way too much ink going out. This size will be a little bit better because it's not as rough. I think it's a little bit better. Oh, I think that one came out pretty good.
I screwed that one up for sure. Well, definitely something I have to practice big time. All right, let's go to L because it may be practicing L will help me with this as well. So, because it's got that little line and then it's got the same line coming down. So at least that will get me, get a little bit of muscle memory in me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now I'm dabbing. Look, now I'm dabbing and it's coming off of my dabber. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. All right, so let's do L on my messy paper. And I'm doing my diamond painting and that's coming out well. So uh, I'm going to do an update on that when I get a chance. Please ignore the noise in here. We've both got we've got the fan going, and then now I've got a dust fan going. It's the humidity right now that's the worst. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys at that um, because M and N, I don't know if they're going to be complicated or not, but um, 
we'll do those next time and hopefully I can figure out how to not get ink on my stuff. Anyways, thank you very much for stopping by, you guys, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.